In this video, I'm going to show you how I develop WordPress plugins using the GPT chat. I made a custom prompt which I specialize just for creating plugins for me. And now, my friend, it's super easy to create any type of plugin. Obviously, right? The more complex the idea, the more complex it is to generate the code. But most of the time, small day-to-day -day problems require plugins to solve those little issues. We're not trying to create an Elementor here, far from it. But imagine being able to create small WordPress code solutions in the form of a plugin. I'm sure that if you pay attention to what I'm going to show you here, you'll be able to make money with this. Why? Because I make money with it, folks. People come to me like, Dante, I've got this issue, and so on. Then I'm like, well, maybe we need to develop a plugin for this. Or we need to develop some code to solve that problem. So where do we go? To the GPT chat to try and find a code solution? But it doesn't always do it right. Why is that? GPT chat is an artificial intelligence, so we need interesting prompts and commands for it to give us the desired result. That's why I developed this specialized prompt for plugin creation. And you're going to have the chance to get this prompt too, all right? So let me first show you how it works. I'm inside the GPT chat. I put my prompt in there. It's a rather long prompt. Just a note, it needs to be run on the GPT-4 version. On GPT-3, it doesn't work well. It messes everything up, okay? So just spend a bit on it. $1.20 won't kill you and put it into practice with GPT-4, all right? I'll hit enter now to run the prompt. After it processes everything I wrote, it's going to understand the following. Tell me the name of the plugin you want to create, the author, and the purpose of the plugin. Let's make a login and redirect plugin, shall we? You know, when you sometimes have a portal with various user roles, right? And you want to redirect for each type of user? I know plugins that already do this exist, right? You're probably using them. But what if you want to create your own, with your own rules? Everything's valid. You have to recreate the solution. So for the sake of example, I'm going to use this topic in this video. We'll create a login redirect plugin, meaning based on the user's role, it'll redirect me to page A, B, or C, depending on my role when I log in. Let's do this together, okay? Check it out. So in this case, it asks for the plugin's name, the author, and the plugin's purpose. I've put down that the plugin's name is redirect login, the author is Dante Testa, and the context of the plugin, meaning its purpose, is in this massive text I wrote here, which I'll read quickly for you. The plugin should have a page accessible through the WordPress menu, inside which there should be three text fields to store three URLs, which will be used to redirect the user depending on their role. In this case, admin, editor, and subscriber. I've already decided here that these are the three roles I want to address. If you have other custom roles, just add them here. Create a button to save this data to WordPress, meaning the person will fill out these fields, click the save button, and store the info in WordPress. Whenever the user logs in, redirect them to the link that's stored based on their role as defined in those fields above. 51. Then when you hit enter here, it'll start generating the plugin. To avoid making the example too long and tedious to build, since sometimes it creates a lot of files and you have to shuffle the code among various files, create a large folder structure. I've added this instruction here. Generate the fewest files possible. I'm going to hit enter now and it'll create fewer files so I can quickly show you. But if you don't include this line, it might create two, three, five, or even ten separate files breaking up each snippet of code into a different file for easier maintenance. It depends on the solution you're asking for, because if it's a large solution, it'll likely require more files. But look at how cool this is. It already created a file structure for me. It created the main folder, which is the plugin folder's name, a main plugin file, and an admin folder with a settings page file. Pretty neat. So now I know I need to create this folder structure in my hosting. So what am I going to do? I'll go to Napoleon Host, the hosting service I currently use, which I highly recommend if you don't have quality hosting already. Come join Napoleon Host. They're outstanding. Starting with their business plan, you get free downloads from Envato and FreePi. That's right, they've got this little system here that I already documented in a video, which I'll link to in the card so you can watch it. In that video, I explained that above the business plan, you have access to the files I mentioned, so check it out later. But back to the topic at hand, I entered my cPanel here with Napoleon and went to the file manager. It opens up for me, I visit my sites folder, then WP content, plugins, and now I'll create a new file in here. So here's where I'll create the folder structure for my plugin. All right, I'm going to click on new folder here. Let's go to chat by T and copy the exact folder name, redirect login, copy it over here and create the folder. Now that it's created, I'm going to go inside it and set up the rest of the stuff. Check it out. They told me to create this file here, redirect login BHP in the root of this folder. So I'm going to click on new file here, create the file with the name they gave me, then go back to grab the admin folder. And in this case, this file here. So admin is easy to remember. I'm going to come over here, create an admin folder, create the folder and inside it, 
grab the file they told me to use, which is set extra.php. All right, got my files here. Let's head back and see what they did there. In redirect login, there are these code snippets. I'm going to copy this guy here. Come back over here and paste it in the redirect login file, which is the main plugin file. They've already got the plugin name, author, and version for me. And I can change this as I update the plugin. I'm going to save it and now grab the other chunk of code they created, which is the setting page. Look at that. They made the setting page for me. I'm going to copy this part here and come back to the admin file manager, paste the code in the setting page file, and there you go. It's in there. I'll save it and let's see if there's anything else they mentioned. Did the solution meet your expectations? Hold up, we haven't tested it yet, so what am I gonna do? I'll go to my WordPress plugins page, check the installed plugins, and boom, there's redirect login already to be activated. Oh, by the way, I'll explain this now. Okay, Dante, nice, the plugin is generated. How do I distribute this plugin now? Super simple, just go back a few levels here, find the redirect login folder in the plugin directory, right click it, click compress, so it gets zipped. And then you'll have this little zipped file here named redirect login. Just download the file like this and that's it. Now you can just send it to someone and they can go to their plugins page, click add new plugin, import the file and boom, it's manually installed and ready to be activated. Once you activate it, there it is, activated successfully. And look at this, redirect login shows up here below and I can put in the three URLs I asked for. I'm gonna put in three non-existent pages, one, two, and three. So it's my site's names, slash one, slash two, slash three. Gonna hit save here and it saves. And I can refresh the page to confirm in an incognito window, I have another user set up here as a subscriber, meaning when I log in with this user, they should go to where? To URL3. So I'll log in and voila, it sent me right to the end of URL3. So if I had a user dashboard page, I could put the path here and it redirects me to it. Now, if I change the user's role to say editor, which was the second role page, I'll change them to editor and log in again. And look at that. It sends me to the second page meant for editors. Pretty cool, huh? So if I were an admin, then I tell you this thing is priceless, guys. How many people are looking for you at your agency? They look for you. Sometimes you are already a programmer to develop plugins for WordPress, and sometimes you don't know how to do it, or you do. But man, it's tiresome to do because it involves research, analysis, a bunch of stuff that you have to know. And now, through this prompt I developed, it generates for us the plugin all chewed up with several separate files, a tree of files. This is just a small example, okay? I've done others here where it generated files. Look, I'll even show you, look, the same plugin, but I didn't tell it to save files. It generated the main file, various types of internal files to manage JavaScript, CSS, and PHP, and basically a page with functions language. This prompt is prepared to translate your plugin if needed, okay? That is, if you tell it in the description that you want it to be translatable, it will create the translation files for you, man. Look how crazy, look. It made it for me here, the translation file from English to Portuguese. Just this chat type D could be another video lesson that I will do soon. Dude, think about it. This prompt, I'm risking saying to you that it's a millionaire prompt. In the right hands, it makes a lot of money. In my case, I can make money because I have so many people asking me for solutions every single day. Students from my Jetmaster course, people who contact me asking for specific solutions. I come here now with this prompt. I create a solution in the form of a plugin so I don't have to keep doing those codes and throwing them in the functions of the theme. Is it wrong to do that? It's not. The thing is with a plugin, management is much more pluggable, right? That is, we know that we have a deactivated plugin and it's the one that's performing those functions. No need to worry about a bunch of things that a plugin is much easier to disable, to fix bugs, etc. Code maintenance is much easier with a plugin. And so what did you guys think? Did you like the idea? Are you interested in getting this prompt? This prompt will be available to you for a super symbolic price to support my work here and improve this prompt more and more, create other prompts for other things. So as soon as you buy this prompt, you're collaborating with my work and I'm sure the price is trivial compared to what you'll be able to gain in productivity and even money developing solutions for your clients or your agency out there. All right, I'm sure it's a success. Cheers, I'll be heading out and I'll see you in the next video.